Either make peace with your adversary or become a prisoner. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. I remember when I was a young child, periodically there would be a new student who would enroll in the school or a kid who would move into the community and it would never fail. This kid, this student would always get into an altercation with a couple of young boys. Or if it was a girl, she would get into an altercation, into a fight with, the, uh, with a few young ladies. And I always wondered, you know, as I got older, why would this happen? You know, it happens a lot too with adults, you know, it may not result in fisticuffs, but it definitely happens with uh, attitudes and personalities clashing. When someone new enters the scene, some new energy enters the scene or disrupts the status quo. And uh, what I come to learn is we have to make peace with our adversary. You know, we may perceive someone else outside of us as an adversary, but really the adversary is within us, it's, it's up here. And if you don't make peace with that adversary, it can uh, wrestle with you, tangle with you, fight with you internally and uh, imprison you, you'll become a prisoner to it. And before it gets to that point, you wanna make peace with it. You wanna accept it for what it is, be honest, look into the mirror and face those insecurities, those darknesses and make peace with it. Or if not, man, you're gonna be forever fighting with it and it could possibly imprison you, no doubt. Uh, I was watching the verses last night with uh, Ja Rule and Fat Joe. And I was looking at the comments, <clears throat> the chat, and you will see certain people uh, mention 50 Cent because 50 Cent and Ja Rule, uh, that, whole, that whole label Ja Rule comes from with Irv Gotti heading that label, Murder Inc. They've had drama, uh, they've gotten to gunplay, stabbings, uh, police reports. Uh, actually, 50 Cent had a issue with Fat Joy at one time, uh, coincidentally, and they made peace uh, after a few years. But the uh, the drama with 50 Cent and Ja Rule and Irv Gotti, that's an ongoing thing. And so I'm looking at the chat, I'm looking at the comments, and people would just throw out 50 Cent's name. Like, I wonder what 50 is thinking. And uh, I guess Irv Gotti, the CEO of Murder, Inc., got tired, got tired of it. And he goes in about how, you know, y'all keep mentioning 50 Cent. But this guy, he uh, he got beat up, he got stabbed, and uh, he filed a police report against us. And he's like, I'm going to leave it at that. And then the next day, today, 50 Cent responds and, and, and you know, basically saying, hey, man, if I was me, I would leave me alone. He said, I killed your whole label. I demolished and destroyed and shut down your whole label, which is somewhat true. Uh, but there's several people going through that kind of battle. Maybe not on that level with that visibility, but it's somebody they're quarreling with and they think that person outside of them is their adversary, but really the adversary is here. It's, it's up here. Uh, 50 Cent has moved on. Irv Gotti keeps holding on to this anger, to this bitterness. And the adversary is, is bigger than 50. It's within Irv. You got to let it go. Man, that thing can become a cancer and kill you and imprison you. You got to go ahead and face it and uh, deal with it and and it may take Irv looking in that mirror and saying, you know what, 
This brother destroyed us. I should have never messed with him. I should have never tried to blackball him. He destroyed us. He destroyed my company. He won. He won. And my insecurity, my, my unwillingness to accept defeat has caused me to get to this point where any comment about 50 Cent bothers me. Man, I'm telling you, unless he can do that, have that honest conversation within himself and uh, just face the music, he will forever be in a conflict within himself. And that's where the true adversary lies. Um, we create these characters in our mind. No one can be in your life, in your mind. No one can step onto your stage and create a role for themselves and create a character for themselves on your stage unless you give them permission to. You have to establish what roles people have on your stage. Your stage being your mind, you have to establish that. You have to sanction that. And clearly, Irv Gotti has given 50 Cent a role in his head, on his stage. And 50 Cent is eating it up. The one in the true turmoil, in the true anger and, and uh, bitterness is, is Irv Gotti, because he can't let it go. To hear, to see the name 50 Cent irks him. I feel sorry for the brother, man, because talented brother. Irv Gotti is a talented brother, a visionary uh, in music and film. Uh, very talented brother and a hustler. So, you know, I hate to see brothers with so much talent and promise not understand who the true adversary is. They can't get out of their own way and control their emotions. Um, I know people have read in the Bible where Paul says, there's a, there's a thorn in my side or a thorn in my flesh. And, and God tells them, you know, my grace is sufficient. But there's only a thorn in your flesh or in your side if you give it a role. If you establish that character in your mind. Now, you can respect it and uh, see it for what it is. But... You don't have to let it live in your head. I see this, this saying, this phrase, man, that brother is living in his head rent free, right? And, and that happens a lot. Man, don't let anyone live in your head. Don't let anyone become a thorn in your side. You have to establish those roles. Only, only you can give that power to that person. Uh, it's nothing wrong with cutting people off. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, going back <clears throat> to my childhood, those kids, they gave that role to the new kid. That That's the adversary. Uh, that's the new kid who's, who's getting all the attention from the young ladies. That's the new kid that's kicking our butt in track and field and football now, basketball now. We got to destroy him. We got to beat him up. We got to bully him. They've given that kid a role that he didn't sign up for. Now, in reverse, on the other, well, on, on the flip side, that kid that's been attacked or that person that's been attacked doesn't have to accept that role. You can tell me I'm your enemy, but I don't have to accept that role. I'd say, hey, man, you may, I may be your enemy, but you're not my enemy, right? Happens all the time. You may say, I'm your friend. I don't have to accept that. I'm flattered, but you're not my friend. Brothers, I know for a fact you've had situations where a woman gave you a role in her head that you were her man or y'all were dating only for her to find out, man, that's not the role you accept it. That's not the role you signed up for. You didn't want to meet, be the main character. You wanted to be the supporting actor. 
right? Or you wanted to be an extra on her stage, but she had you pegged for another role that you didn't even try out for. That's because nobody can place themselves in your life, in your head, and give them, themselves a role that you did not assign or agree to. Make peace with the adversary. That adversary is within you up here, your own mind. That's the only adversary you have. That's why, hey amen, I have no haters. I have not one hater. I have not one enemy, right? Now that doesn't mean someone else hasn't given themselves the role of a hater or an enemy, but that's in their head, that's on their stage. But in my head, on my stage, I have none. Yeah, that's not that's not the kind of production we're putting out. All right? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, from me to you, love. Peace.